It's been over three months, but I finally got a salon that's going to do my hair. Natural beauty. All right, that's for me. Salon and spa. They are so friendly and lovely. I have my first appointment with them in three weeks, so I am very excited. Friends of Big Rapids Library. Books and brats. Oh no, books and brats. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Desi today. I hope you had a good, safe summer week. I had a better week this week than I've had in the last couple. I did a lot of healing this week. I got out more. I tried to contact friends a little bit more, but it's going to take a little bit of time. That's, that's part of life. Nothing happens overnight that's worthwhile. So. I want to do something fun. I know that you like my favorites videos. Now you don't like me doing favorites videos every week, but you do like them and I love doing them and they're never sponsored. So they're always from the heart. So I want to show you some of my very favorite products for hair and makeup in my home and just, just kind of really some unusual favorites that you might like in your own life. So. I think we're going to have fun. You know how we always do with favorites. And at the end of the video, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about my town, my city. I want to give you a tour of my city, but that's going to take, you know, some planning. I realize that now. It can't be just one video. It will be a trilogy. But I wanted to talk to you about the difference in my life from going to a big city to a small town and it's been profound and I just feel a need to talk to you about it and see what you think. Are these cool? These are frames and they sit on your table like if you have a centerpiece and I'll show you how I use these but if you have a centerpiece on your table and you have one of these on each side it gives it such a sophisticated, interesting look. I didn't even know that things like this existed. So you can rotate the pictures, but how cool to have somebody walk into your dining room and see these beautiful little platforms and they have personal pictures in them. I don't know, it, I'm sure this is old news. I've just never seen them before and I'm in love with them. The one thing we all have in common is we all love twinkle lights and not all twinkle lights are created equal. Now, when you get older, your eyesight isn't quite perhaps what it should be. So you have a tendency sometimes to see auras around really bright lights. So the twinkle lights that I buy, I know this sounds weird, but I'm very picky. I, this is, this brand is Wonder Shop and these lights, have the most beautiful warm yellow light and it's really the only twinkle lights that I love to use because it warms up the room and it doesn't hurt my eyes I don't see you know any type of auras because I have cataracts they're just they're just warm and they're beautiful is what I meant by soft twinkle lights it's just it's not hard on the eyes it's not intrusive and it just gives this very subtle warm illumination in the corner and I love it Okay, 
it's not quite fall yet, but I want to share with you my very favorite three fall lipsticks, and I love them. And I don't want to waste your time on lipsticks that are just like, oh, okay. These are phenomenal. They're fantastic. So this one is by Joha. This is Finesse, and I have talked about this before. I actually wear this quite a bit in the summer, but it's very spicy for fall. And Rum Rich by Maybelline. Oh my Rum Rich is the most beautiful lipstick. I could just marry it. I love it so much. This right here is Almond Hustle by Maybelline, and it is the sexiest color lipstick you have ever seen. Whenever I wear this lipstick, uh-huh, well, I like it. <laughs> Nothing exciting has happened, but it is the coolest lipstick. I'm going to try to show you what they look like on. I dreamt that I was with you in the sugar blue waters and your big strong hands. Crying out like a baby once I knew I was asleep. Hoping that just maybe it was real this time. A little rain. come as a great surprise to you that I have not been in a hair salon since February. <laughs> I haven't been able to find a groomer for Desi either. So what I did is there was a kit, a grooming kit that I saw on Amazon and I ordered it. It was like 30% off the price. It was way over $100 and I got it for like $80. So I found this. This is by Wessi. And this is a dog grooming kit, and this is like a vacuum. And I know it sounds kind of weird and space age, but it's so cool. Look at all the tools that this kit comes with. And Desi loves every single one of these attachments. One is a massage tool. One helps me trim his coat. One just helps me dust his coat. And it all, all the hair collects in this uh, canister and then it's easy access to just empty it. This is too good to be true. If I can learn how to do this with my dog, then you could learn how to do it with your dog or cat. rodents and bats with something like a tennis racket and try to ease them out of your house through the front door. I have to tell you this story but about six weeks ago I was walking Desi and the sun was going down and we rounded the corner of my street and I looked at my neighbor's house and I saw this man he was like doing the dishes and around his fan was a bat and the bat was just flying around his house and I was like, oh no, 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 I don't do bats. <laughs> that's not, that's not going to happen to me. I never could figure out why he wasn't trying to shoo the bat out of his house, but I guess that's another story. Anyway, so I had ground bees in my backyard and the orchid man came, very nice young man. And I said to him, I saw a bat across the street in somebody's house. What can I do? And he said, you need to check out the sonar devices. They're ultrasound sonar. They don't hurt your dog or cat, and they won't hurt your ears. But pick them up. Put one upstairs, one on your ground floor, and one in the basement. You'll be all set. No squirrels, no chipmunks, no mice, no bats, no Traveling salesman? I don't Is this cute or what? This is my little tower of power and my first defense against any type 
of rodent because I don't do rodents. You can't hear what this sounds like, but to a rodent, this is like screeching and it makes them ill. And so it, it just repels them. And what I was so surprised at is when I started using these sonars, I stopped getting bugs. I was having trouble with little earwigs coming in from the garden. Oh, it's like they want nothing to do with my screeching house. <laughs> That's just fine for me. If there's one thing that I haven't been doing, it's self-care. And what happens when something happens in our life and we get so sad? What's the first thing that goes out the window? Self-care. We, we, just, we just don't bother. We're, we're, we're way too busy trying to make sense of everything and, and to heal and to help others heal. Well, we just... We just don't self-care, and that happened to me. I wasn't painting my toenails, I, I wasn't doing my nails, and I sure wasn't doing anything for my hair. And I forgot how wonderful this hair mask is. Of all the hair masks I've ever used in the 100 years I've been alive, I kid you not, this is the best hair mask you will ever use. So when your hair looks horrible and dull and dry and you think, I am so embarrassed, I can't leave the house, you leave this on your hair after you shampoo for 15 minutes and then you rinse it out, your hair suddenly is shiny and the color is better. It's, it's beautiful. I'll, I'll link it below, but I can't say enough wonderful things about this hair mask and if you use this hair mask, please let me know what you think. Since I'm in a new city, I had to have a new doctor. And the type of care that I'm getting here is nothing like the care that I got in Grand Rapids. A bigger city, I just felt I got lost in the shuffle and they never ordered the type of tests that they've ordered for me here. And one beautiful thing is they had me take a bone density test and it turned out pretty bad. I have osteoporosis, and so I'm gonna go on a drug that's gonna help me uh, uh, create a better, stronger bones. I'm gonna get into some weight uh, lifting exercises. And the doctor told me to get this um, caltrate. And I thought, okay, what is that? And it is vitamin D and calcium. And I thought, how interesting. Of all the supplements that my doctor could have recommended to me, this is the one that he recommended. It's not expensive. This cost me about $15. I have trouble swallowing pills, so these are chewables. All the supplements that I take, and I don't take very many. I take one for my eyes, and I take a multivitamin, and now I take uh, this for my bones but they all are chewables, they're all gummies because I can't really swallow pills very well. But I love that. And I just swear, I don't know if it's all in my mind, but after a month, I just feel like everything just feels better. And I don't feel so achy. And osteoporosis, it, it sounds very scary, but I had to wonder what would have happened if my doctor in Grand Rapids 10 years ago would have said, I want you to take a bone density test? Or perhaps, you know, I should have stepped up and, and thought, you know, I'm getting older, I should do that.
I went downtown and I shot some footage so you could see what my little downtown area looks like. And I only live a few blocks from there. So when they have concerts or festivals, which they do all the time, I can just walk there. So it's very New Yorkish that way, only very, very quaint and sweet. As you can see, all the buildings are like over 100 years old. So I'm down there and I'm filming with my camera and I'm having a great time. And there's this group of people, there's some, some students. The students are coming back to, to Ferris. So the town is filling up again. And so the students are kind of hanging out and there's a cute little beagle and there's a young man that seems to be the beagle's owner. And so the closer I got, the more I picked up that this young man, and his name was Andrew, is Andrew, and he was uh, challenged. And he spoke a little bit slowly, and he didn't seem to completely uh, kind of flow with the conversation, but he was wonderful and he had the most beautiful smile. And I asked him if I could film his dog, a little cute little beagle. And he said, well, her name is Daisy and I don't know if she'll like that. And I thought, well, that's fair enough, right? It's <laughs> kind of like how I would feel like, oh, you want to film Desi? Well, let me ask him anyway. So I kind of went on my way. And I'm, it's like 90 degrees and I am so hot, but I am having a wonderful time. I'm going into the shops downtown and introducing myself and having a blast. And I'm outside the blue cow. And suddenly I look down the street and here comes Andrew. And he had a slight limp, but he was really trucking along and just the sweetest young man that you could ever imagine. And he's walking towards me and I put my camera down and he said, I, I want you to know that Daisy thinks it's okay for you to film her, to take her picture. So let's do that. <laughs> and I said, well, that's great. And, and so, you know, it's 90 degrees and we're walking, but I am so happy. I have tears in my eyes. It's so hard to explain that moment to you. But what I realized at that time is that sweet young man that was taking me to film his dog. He taught me the most valuable lesson that I've learned probably all year. And, and that is get out of my own way. Just lately, it's, it's, it just seems like I've been so self-absorbed. It's all about, oh, you know, I'm getting older and what happened to my figure and why is my hair and what this, 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 and that all about me. And in that moment, it was so pure and so innocent. And it made me realize life isn't about me. It's every for every action, there's a reaction. So every time I shoot somebody a smile, every time I engage with someone that I don't know that maybe looks a little bit lonely or a little bit lost, it makes a difference. And in that moment, Andrew and Daisy, they made my day. And Daisy, really, honestly, I could not get a decent shot of her. She would not look at me. <laughs> but it was a wonderful moment. And I think it truly brought home the difference between my life in this small town and the life that I left behind in Grand Rapids. Hey 
everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I loved every second of it. It's so fun to do favorites. And if you get a chance down below, could you, okay, okay, Tess, if you, if you get a chance down below, could you share whether you live in a big town or a, a little town and how you feel about that? Please have yourself a wonderful, happy, brand new week. And when you're done with your week, you come back and see me and Desi, okay? All right, it's a deal. We'll be here.